Hi guys, we're going to look at factorizing cubic polynomials after finding a factor using our calculators. If you're not too sure how to do this, please check out our previous video. Alright, let's dive right into it. Remember in our previous video, we were looking, with the, we're looking at the very same equation and the factor that we found was x plus 4. Right. Now, how we solve this is what we actually do is we write down block brackets, right? And then on the left of the block brackets, we have x plus 4. This is our factor. Now, in the block brackets, the first term that we have is going to be x squared. How did I find x squared? What we did is we divided x to the power of 3 by the first term in our round bracket. So x cubed divided by x squared divided by x gives you x squared. Now in the middle, we need to add something special, which is plus kx. Right? Now at the end, what we're going to do is we're going to say negative 64 divided by 4. And what does that give you? That gives you 16, but it gives you negative 16. Now what we need to do is we need to multiply out so if I multiply x with x squared, that is going to give me x to the power of 3. Then I'm going to multiply x with kx, that is going to give me plus kx squared. Now I need to multiply x with the last term, which is going to give me negative 16x. Then I need to multiply with the 4. So 4 multiplied by x squared, that will give us 4x squared. Then 4 multiplied by kx, that gives us plus 4 kx. Then 4 multiplied by negative 16 gives us minus 64. Now what we care about are the coefficients of x squared. So meaning that we're looking at kx squared and 4x squared. These must be equal to the 10x squared in the original equation. Notice what I'm going to do. I'm simply going to say kx squared plus 4x squared is equal to 10x squared. Now all we need to do is solve for k. So kx squared will be equal to 6x squared. Then finally solving for k, we will have k is equal to 6. This is what we can substitute in our block brackets. Remember we still have a factor of x plus 4 outside. Then in our block brackets we have x squared plus 6 x minus 16. Now this is a beautiful trinomial that we can factorize. We still have x plus 4 outside. Then in the block bracket, let's factorize that. We know we're going to have two empty brackets. And then because we have positive and negative, our brackets are going to take positive and negative. Now x squared, we're going to have an x here and another x there. Now we're looking for two numbers that when we multiply them, they will give us negative 16. But when we add or subtract them, they need to give us what? 6. And those two numbers can be 2 and 8. Now which means that our factors are actually x plus 4, x plus 8, and x minus 2. And there you have it guys. That is how you factorize a cubic polynomial.